Hi, my name is Moshe Pritzker. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Jove, scientific video publication for biological research. Today I'm going to talk about principles of scientific video publication, everything you wanted to know but was afraid to ask about it. I'm going to talk about the mission, and our mission is to increase productivity in scientific research and education. And the specific challenge that we face is that the currently acceptable text format of science journals is not sufficient anymore for the today level of scientific research. And solutions that we offer is video-based publication for biological research. And I'm going to talk about implementation. How do we implement new type of scientific journal, video-based journal? And I'm going to tell you about its current acceptance in the scientific and librarian community. So when you look at the scientific publishing, at the history of the scientific publishing, you can see this article from 1665, one of the first scientific articles published by the Royal Society. Now, when you compare it with science article today, you can, you can, you can see that the principle of it did not change much. So, today we have our articles in text available online. We have we have them with color figures. We can print PDF, they're searchable, but the core principle of the science article, the core structure of the science article did not change. So we have author names, abstract introduction, procedure, and all this is written in text which is barely understandable even to the expert in the field. Now, do we need anything else? Do we need to change the core format of scientific articles? I think it should change. Uh, let me sh tell you why. This is a productivity cycle in biological research. What you see here is scientists typically doing their research and then they publish research. And as they publish research, other scientists are supposed to learn about this research. The way they learn about the research, they read scientific journals. So they read scientific uh, procedure typically published in methods section of its scientific articles. And to learn the technologies described there, they have to reproduce these experiments in their labs. And typically, it doesn't work so well. I would say that nine out of 10 times when you try to reproduce an experiment published in a journal, it doesn't work. The problem is that knowledge transfer does not work so well with the current text format of science journals. It doesn't work because we have a break in this productivity cycle and that costs a lot of time and money. Again, you put yourself into the place of today scientists in the lab trying to read an article even in the most famous scientific journal, trying to reproduce this article and they spend a lot of time and money trying to do it. So let me show you the example of this problem. What you see here on this slide is a typical scientific article, a segment from a typical scientific article that describes a specific procedure in embryonic stem cell research. Let's read it together. Position the metaphase spindle at 3 o'clock and hold it with holding pipette. Apply piezo pulses to penetrate donor pellucida. Touch the metaphase plate with a nucleation pipette etc 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 so here this subject by the way it is written in English if you don't understand it and it's okay if you don't understand it but it is a big problem if I don't understand it because I have a PhD in this area of research I, I was doing stem cell research for a few years during my PhD at Princeton University yet I cannot understand this fragment Moreover, I cannot reproduce the, the research described there. So, since it's a typical description we can find today in science journals, the question is, what does it say? How can we use it in science research or education? So, uh, it, I would like to show you how scientists typically deal with these problems. Typically, when they encounter such un -understa not understandable description in the scientific article, they try to find a colleague who can show them how to do an experiment. What you see here on the left side is the same text I showed you before. And on the right side, you see a short video that visualizes the process which is described there. Let us see it together. So this short video shows you a very simple procedure. 
of specific cell and pipe it coming there and take it intracellular content in one move. And as you can see, the video description is very simple and can be understand, understood even by non-specialists. Yet the text description is very difficult, very difficult to understand and very difficult to use for any purpose. And this is exactly how scientists deal with this problem today in the labs. When they see an article that they cannot reproduce on their own, they would look for their colleagues who can, who can show them how this research performed in their labs. And they are lucky to find such colleagues. But oftentimes such help is not available, or they have to travel long distance. And so instead of working on their research problems, they are busy spending their time in reproducing the wheel, trying to repeat published studies again and again and again. This generates a big problem for the productivity of scientific research, and it costs a lot of money to scientists and to their institutions who have to find this, this research. At Jove, uh, we decided to deal with this problem in the following way. We decided to, fi to find a systematic solution to this problem. Text does not work? Well, then we have to bring this show effect into scientific article. We can do it by video. So, at Joe we have developed a new type of scientific article which has video and text. And video shows how experiment is performed in the original laboratory who has developed these experiments and it shows the demonstration of the experiment step by step. And text provides a traditional methodology description that you can find in other methodology research journals. One of the main questions when we started Joe was what will be the structure of scientific articles in video. Here we decided to follow the traditional text format article by having abstract introduction, experimental procedure and discussion just in video. So abstract typically takes one minute and it's an animated uh, description of the concept of the experiment. Introduction typically shows scientists introducing themselves and introducing the subject of their research. And then the main part, experimental procedure, shows step-by-step -step demonstration of the experiment. And last part is a discussion of results and discussion of possible difficulties.